<sighs> I'm just packing my bag for Alaska. And if you want to know why I'm going to Alaska, well, you're not the only one. It seems I've become the why guy on a new morning show on Channel 10 called Breakfast. Now, have you ever found yourself just saying, why? You've seen something, you thought something, you've just gone, why? Well, that's why we have our why guy, Dr. Derek Muller. He's here to answer all the questions. So I'm going to play you a clip of the live interview I did this morning talking about why I'm going up to Alaska. And the one that I have for him right now is, what is a solar burp? Is, is the sun got indigestion? What's going on with this? Yeah, well, uh, it's actually not really called a solar burp, but right. uh, a solar flare or a coronal mass ejection. But you can basically think of it as the sun giving out a burp, which is belches pieces of itself into space. And these are the images that we're seeing, because this is this only happens every now and then, doesn't it? Well, basically every 11 years, a, a bit like clockwork, the sun will break out in spots and start spewing out these, these hot gases, uh, fast-moving charged particles, and it just sprays it out into space. Why? Derek, why? Well, the sun has, uh, is made of plasma, and it has these big, big magnetic fields within it. Yep. They get all bunched up, coiled up every 11 years, and they sort of spring outwards um, to a lower energy state. And when they do that, they, they send all this matter out into space. But why, Derek? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> now, now the, the other question I have is, what, what effects does this have on us here on Earth? Do we have any kind of impact on us? Well, there are some beautiful effects. If we get just a bit of it, uh, it'll create the aurora, the beautiful northern or southern lights. Right. So you can see those over Tasmania, uh, or even over the North Pole around there. But uh, there can also be some negative impacts. It can uh, knock out our satellites. It can destroy. Uh, it can destroy satellites. It can cause problems with our power grids. How long is this expected to last for? Well, a few years. So every eleven years, it's sort of there's a peak for about a year or two. But there's nothing for us to worry about from the whole, you know, that concept of a solar flare being big enough just to engulf us and that's it, game over. Uh, no, we're far enough away from the sun that by the time it reaches us, it's, uh, the solar flare is basically spread out. You're now on the record of saying that. No one can hold you up. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> well, the UK has actually added the sort of solar activity to their list of national security threats. So, you know, if, if the storm is big enough... So the sun is now a terrorist. In a way, yeah. In 1989, all of power was knocked out to Quebec uh, because of one of these solar yep. storms. Yeah. Now, I'm very jealous. You're heading up to Alaska. You were talking about the Aurora. What are you going to do when you get there? Well, what we're going to go do is launch HD cameras on weather balloons, and we're going to send them up into the stratosphere. So we're the first team ever to, to do this, and we're going to look at the Aurora from inside, film it in HD in color. So how are you going to find these little things? You're sticking them in weather balloons or something. How are you going to track them down? Because they're, they're not going to come down where you want them. Yeah, so we're going to have to put some sort of homing beacons on them, and then we're going to have to trek out through the wilderness on dog sleds and choppers and stuff and try to find this stuff. So what are you going to do when you get that vision? Do we get a chance to have a look at it on our big screen? Absolutely. I'll come and I'll, I'll bring it back and we can have a look at what we see. Why, Derek? <laughs> well, I think everyone wants no, to know, know more about it. And, yeah. and if we know more about it, hopefully we can you know, predict these solar events in future and we can be better prepared. You know, it can expose a lot of people to uh, radiation. So if you're flying over the poles, you might actually have to have your, your flight rerouted if you're going to get hit by this, this burst of uh, particles coming from the sun. So it does actually have some kind of it impact. It has major impacts on us. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a significant threat. I have one more question for you here. It says here that the total energy radiated by the sun averages... 383 billion trillion. That sounds made up. Billion, tr billion trillion what? Kilowatts. <laughs> Kilowatts. There you go. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's still a ridiculous number. It's a, it's a huge ridiculous number. If we wrote it up here, it would take the whole board to write it up. I mean, the sun emits a crazy amount of energy, but uh, most of it doesn't hit the Earth, of course, because all of that energy spreads out in space, so we just get a tiny fraction of it. Well, I could sit here and say, why all day, Derek? <laughs> Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. If you want to see more of the show, you may want to check out the link in the description. And if you want to see more of me on the show, you may want to comment or write them an email and let, let, let them know that. Other than that, I guess I'll see you guys on the flip side. See you in Alaska.